hi everyone today i'm going to show you how you are going to install the talvent css version 4.1 and you may be having a problem with the uh, talvent intelligence maybe the word if i am just pronouncing it right and uh, how you are going to configure that one uh, i will start everything from beginning okay now i'm using the latest version for now which is like 4.1 and the issue is coming like with 4.1 now how you are going to just make that auto like suggestion when you are going to write the Talvent css style in your react project now how you are going to do i will come in my folder and uh, maybe i'm going to make one new folder here and i name it like tell wind css or you can make um give any name whatever you want now i am going to come in that folder or maybe directory and uh, right now i'm using windows 11 and here we are going to write cmd and uh, then enter and here you will get uh, the command prompt you are going to write code and dot it will open your project in uh, vs code okay i'm using vs code for that one visual studio code now what we are going to do we will come here and uh, we are going to make a new project for that one we'll come here react wait okay now once you are going to come here you will always see the documentation and it is like we latest okay and we are going to say that npn create with where the red latest okay and press enter then it will ask about your project i will also write talvent css maybe okay then which platform you are going to use react and maybe javascript and then uh, we have to just follow these steps like cd talvent install and run okay now i will go to talvent css folder now uh, i have given that name you can change that name otherwise uh, you may not confuse yourself why i'm writing again and again the talvent css and once you are in folder you are going to try the npn install and it will install for you the react project and once your react project has been installed then you are going to run that project and it will take maybe few um, seconds and now we are going to write if everything works fine then you are going to write npm run div and once you see the local host with port it means that everything is working all right now you are going to copy that one or you are going to open and here i am going to open that you can see that the project is here now what do we need uh i don't i'm going to come in source and i will delete everything like we have css here index css i don't need that one okay uh, i i'm going to delete that maybe permanently delete that one hold shift and delete and you can see that it is permanently deleting that and uh, maybe app.css i'm going to delete that as well and then we will come in man and we are going to change the name of the project uh you have to just remove that css from here and the ape and everything i'm going to delete from here like everything should be deleted here and i'm going to write div and welcome to my talvent css configuration okay simple sentence i have written that one uh, i'm going to delete that logo portion as well and maybe react logo that asset as well and we don't need the css file as well and also the use state for now i don't need that one okay and uh, what else we are going to delete maybe everything is fine now let me just see the project if it is working and we are going to just refresh that one and see that hmm, 
there is not exactly anything here to show now we are going to delete the state here as well and what else in index we will come and then here we are going to delete that logo portion as well because if we are going to give our own logo then it will be okay now i will write here my talent like talent css project the title and we will come here uh, you can see the title you can see that welcome to my talent css configuration uh, everything is completely fine now i'm going to make here a folder in source maybe a new folder uh, no sorry a new file okay i'm going to make a new file and i will name that styles.css and here we are going to just uh, make margin like margin should be zero pixel and check that if it is working now i have to import that one in maybe main or in app it doesn't matter okay we are going to import mm, style uh sorry style uh, is styles.css now see it's working now the margin is zero if we are going to check for example the style maybe i'm going to give background color yellow and check it is if it is working okay it is now simple like uh, css file but now what do we need we are going to configure this the talent css for that what we are going to do we have to come here and uh, you have to write like Telvin CSS in Google. Tell tell Wind CSS, and you have to come in that website which is 4.10, and you have documentation. Click on documentation, and here you have the the code which you are going to write in your terminal. Uh, first, I have to just uh, terminate that uh, running server uh, for that i will press ctrl and c then you have to write like that code okay ctrl c and ctrl b uh, if it is not working then maybe i'm going to write that manually okay like uh, npm install telvin css npm install telvin css and at the rate Mm, tell and CSS and wait and then you have to click enter and it will install for you Taliban CSS if the every keyboard key keyword is working like you have here now once if I come in JSON I will see if it is installed yeah Taliban CSS wait 4.1.4 is installed already and we have react react dom on the the configuration you are which you are going to see here it is 19 okay Talvin css 4.1 i have installed that already now what we are going to do how it will work we have to configure the Talvin css and for that we have the we uh, config.ts but we have a js because we are working on, on the java javascript version and here in plugin portion you are going to a Talvin CSS function and then you have to import that as well like import Talvin CSS from from Talvin CSS suite okay now if it is like completed then you have to import like Talvin CSS into CSS file which I have right now style CSS but you can make that any 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 css file okay now i have installed that one now we'll save that as well and save that as well if everything everything is completely fine then you can now check that for example i will come i will come here in my app and i will write class name text maybe for excel okay it is not working class name text for excel uh if i'm going to save that one maybe no if refresh 
uh, okay oh we have not run our like yeah we have to run that npm run div now it is okay we will refresh that yeah it is working now if i want to change that to excel see now for example 10 excel uh there is not 10 excel but maybe 2 excel it is working if i'm going to write like uh bold maybe and uh, weight bold but there is a problem like I don't I don't get a suggestion here but I'm going to try it for example color or BG color red if I'm going to write that correctly I don't get any suggestion okay now what I'm going to do uh, I will just come here in my extension I have Tailwind Tailwind CSS that, that is the IntelliSense which I already installed that one, but you can also install that one. You just see that it is telemancss.com. It is from telemancss.com. That is the official one. But what we are going to do, since it is not working, not giving a suggestion, and I don't, I cannot work with that one. <laughs> it is like a sort of headache how we are going to add an integration that one. Then you are going to click on setting, and here we have setting, and just write telemant element and css you can uh, get here many options you have could come down in intelligent css experimental class uh, regex you, what you are going to do edit the that setting json in here uh, that is the important point okay now you have to point out the 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 project for example i have telement css you are going to point out that one first tell wind css and that is the one and then you have to point the style which you have integrated for example if i am going to show you here um, i have just imported that in styles.css therefore you have to just point out that one okay now you have to point out that css file which is styles.css once you have done that just save and come in your project and uh, maybe i can just let me write now text and see the suggestion is coming now to excel if background maybe background background or bg color maybe bg color now see how easily i can get that one since th there is not a background color it is bg color now I have, uh, for example, text is white. See the suggestion I am getting right now. I hope you got idea how you are going to just uh, configure your React, then Telemin CSS, and then uh, in Telemin IntelliSense, then how you are going to configure that one as well. If you like that video, just don't forget to subscribe. Thank you, everyone.